Hello and a welcome back to EGL9, the pool play round number one. We are on board with Fariko versus Total Esports Circuit. This is Dragons versus the Swedish team and it's currently 2-1 to Total Esports Circuit in the best of five here. We have seen a first hard point go towards Fariko, then an SD and a CTF to Total Esports Circuit. My name is Gucci and I'm joined by Chris Todd for potentially the last map in this round of this game. Fizzy coming up big straight away with that two piece inside the hard point as we shut down Luke though who was there for cover but very very good start by Fariko. 24 points in the lead. Could we actually see a 50 or 60 point lead straight away from the first hard point because that would set them up so nicely for the rest of the round. Let's go on board with Fizzy who's inside the hard point currently on a two kill streak with the flak jacket so that's a good tactic by Fariko. They have the guy with the flak jacket inside the hard point. Yeah, now Fizzy just lying in weight on the bottom of that hard point. 45 nil, 46, 47 nil. This is absolutely huge from Fariko. They've clearly just had a quick pep talk in that two minute break, being like, we are not losing this game so early on. But four down there for Fariko momentarily, and Tech trying to take a hold on this game. Of course, in the very first hard point on Yemen, we did see Fariko take an early lead. Tech bought themselves back into it and made it very, very close towards the end. But Tech, Tech. Course 2 1 in the lead on total maps. Fariko look fired up for this map as they get themselves in that hard point once again. Well, well Melo eventually getting in there, but it has been contested. Still contested by Tech, Whoa. although Tech are going to come in there, take out three of the Fariko players. Amir's coming up big though, taking out Breaking, taking out Cappy as well. So let's go on board with him. See what he can do. Oh, oh the three piece from Amir as well. He's not going to get the fall. He gets shut down by Marks. Picks up a two piece and the three piece by him, answering back to Amir's big play by him there. Oh, and the four, well played by Martz. Martz having an absolutely storming game here. Of course, he did very, very well on the search and destroy and also on the CTF, but now we are on board with Amaze. He tries to take out a player in the back. Oh, that was unfortunate shooting from Amaze there. And again, ran out of bullets and gets taken down by Breaking. Not the best of shooting I've ever seen from Amaze there as uh, Fariko are trying to push in towards this middle hard point, but do get taken out by Oswe with that two piece at the bottom of the ladder. Jumping on board with the tech team for the first time in this map. This is hard point on Express. Currently 2-1 to Tech Swede. He was in a good position there, taking out two of the free core members. Two very, very easy kills. He's going to stay there, though. He's actually going to jump down, go for the kill, but does get taken out by his teammate. Staying on board with Oswe. Contested hard point. Lots of kills fly around in the center. Melo picking up two piece in the hard point. Not going to be able to do anything as Mart does shut him down the back. Still on board with Mart inside the hard point. Currently contested. Taken out by Fizzy. So they're probably going to move on to the next hard point. If you actually have a look at the minimap. Bring that up on your screen right now. Yep, they're on the better side. It looks like they're contesting this hard point for a little bit longer, but yep, we can see they're going to drop back onto that next one. Next to the turn of the turn up. Only a few seconds left on the hard point. Now, 10 seconds in total. Still on board with Mott. Fariko now just extending their lead. Of course, they did start very, very strongly, having a 45 nil at one point, but Tech answered back very, very quickly, of course, just letting them have the rest of the time on that first one, but now Tech well set up for this hard point. They are awaiting the Fariko Dragons to show themselves to the Mart. A few stray bullets. This is the first time we've seen some shaky shooting from him in this game. Finally getting taken down by Lucas Fariko. Push in towards that hard point. If we just bring up the scoreboard there, Mart 14 to 7 with 9 defense. Yeah, great so play by him. He's definitely been the standout player for Tech. Busy coming in with a three piece oh. though. Mart answering him back once again with the two piece. Is he going to pick a third? He's not. As Osby's going to come in there, take out Amir. Luke is the last one alive around that. Or oh, is he going to get a three? He had three players lined up in front of him. He gets taken out eventually. Cappy inside the hard point, breaking, picking the two piece. Amir's taking him out though. Cappy taking out Amir. Lots of kills going down inside the hard point here. Yeah, this is going to be a well-fought battle between two sides. Look, 13 points, and that is all separating them. Break and taking down Mello and Luke as they are all set up for the very next hard point. Of course, it's back to the original hard point in the dead centre of the map. Now, Fariko, of course, need to get some points on the board because this tech team will fight whenever they get the chance. So I think they need a much bigger lead just to secure this map and see it out to go to the last map, which will be Search and Destroy on Meltdown if Fariko win this. On board with Oswe, they are currently taking the lead, about 12 points ahead, 45 seconds left on the half point, 5 minutes left in total. Let's see what Oswe can do, breaking and Cappy, picking up kills in the middle of the map, Amaze taking out Cappy, though, Amaze coming in there with the second kill with that B23, taking out Oswe as well. Staying up with Oswe from the tech team. With this MMC, he's going to move in there, contested momentarily, Mart's taking him out though, Cappy taking out Mello as well, big two-piece by Mart, making a lot of important kills. 
yeah, this is looking very, very good for Tech Sweden as they are now 30 points in the lead as we get taken down by Mello. But kills just being exchanged between two sides now, and that will, of course, play in Tech's favour as long as they stay around that hard point area. But they have lost control, and enemy Hellstone coming in there from Farico. But big waste. Big waste, of course, yeah. They did just managed to get a couple more points left on that board, and nobody died to that score streak, so a bit of a waste there for Mello. Yeah, we're going ball with the Freeco team now. Let's go on ball with Fizzy inside the hard point. Airstrike coming in. That should get a couple of players. Gets one in the form of Cappy. Luke taking our break in as well. And they're just defending oh. from the side here. Comes the war machine. <laughs> Dead machine. One kill taken out there by us. We know much you can do about it though. It does get taken out by the grenade eventually. Yeah, yeah stone ball with Fizzy. This is definitely the best score streak to have while defending one of these hard points. As long as he can move away from that grenade, he'll hold that right trigger and just wait for the tech line just to run into him. As Fizzy picks up two with that death machine, goes for the third as well, does manage to land bullets in, but does get taken out by Oswe. But Luke and Mello there to pick up the pieces and secure that hard point as they look as if they are going to go into the lead once again. But they've scratched that hard point, they're letting tech have 20 seconds on that time there, which is very unwise, I believe. Jump on ball. Mello is actually inside the hard point. Still picking him a few kill, a uh, few points. Sorry, seven seconds or so left. He's gonna run this all the way down, which is gonna actually give Farico a little lead. Fizzy picking up a two points around the hard point. Now Mello will go over and help. I imagine he's gonna push on behind, does he? Oh yeah, he's gonna stay alive just inside the train. Sponging. Oh, oh Osby coming in there, cleaning up what the hard point and what the uh, score streak actually did. On ball with Luke inside the hard point, though contested momentarily and then taken over by Tech Sweden, who are probably about to retain their lead. Yeah, this is very, very close now. They need to get in there and start contesting that hard point so that Tech cannot extend their lead. But it's not looking like they're able to do so. Only Mello left alive straight away. Two piece there for him as he jumps onto that hard point. Slight little choke, goes for the third. Gets shot in the back, but gets a headshot in from in front of him in the form of Marx as we are going to stay on board with Verico. They're not looking as good as what we thought they might do here, Tom. Yeah, they just can't seem to get a hold of this hard point from the tech defense because they're just absolutely slaughtering at them at the moment. Let's go on board with Oswe inside. The hard point he's just left it there, so they're going to go for the next hard point where they're set up on. So, you know, they're, they're holding the hard points down, defending very well and moving at the right time and moving quicker than their opponents. So they're going to pick up the hard point straight away. Although saying that, Melo's going to come in there with a two-piece and get a hold of it momentarily for Farico. Luke should make that kill on Oswe. That's actually going on board with Farico. I was on board. going to jump on board with Melo. Let's get taken out, we're gonna go on board with Fizzy inside the hop and everyone get taken out as soon as they go on board with them. Here we go with the death machine from Fizzy. Yeah, we are on board with Fizzy now as he has got that death machine out and trying to run right in that hard point as they do take the lead once again. Farico coming up big though, lots of kills going down from them. Amaze with the kill. With the with the uh, lightning strike, sorry, Mello picking for two pieces, breaking, taking out three of the Freeco team. Luke's gonna shut him down as Oswe takes out a maze. Luke taken out by Cappy as well, so that's gonna be Tex hands on that hard point for just a moment. About 15 seconds they're gonna get from that big headshot by Fizzy there. And Tex seems to be set up in the side, the next hard point as well. It's gonna with Cappy, he's gonna come around behind and help out his teammates. Looking as if they want to be set up in that next half point, but Fizzy has other ideas there as that half point has gone towards Farico as they try and extend their lead, but it has come back in the hands. Oh, this is just too close to Coulton. We really don't know what is going to happen, but huge take from there from Cappy as his score streak is coming in. He tries to take down players in the middle of that track. It's a bit of a waste there from him as he doesn't manage to land that on. Of course, it will just buy them some time, I think, because it will stop Farico jumping straight in there. But the Swee with a kill, March with a with a kill as well. And Cappy does get taken down by Amazie and with a two piece of his own. But the Swee would go in huge there with that two piece. Goes to the B23R as they are 15 points in the lead. Only one minute left on that clock. Of course, the score limit is 250. This is going to be very, very close here as time ticks on. It is getting so close to the end. One minute left on that clock. Now, Freeco going to be oh. able to do nothing about us. We inside this half point. Going to take out Luke Mello's going to take him out though with the two piece as well on the Cappy. And are Farico set up onto the next half point? Yes, they, they are. To be. So, I mean, the 25 points behind with 45 seconds left on this clock. It's going to be so, so close. Let's see if Tech can break down this Farico defense. Yeah, I think we need to get on board with Farico as they oh, currently trail a huge three piece there from Fizz. And let's get on board with him as he's just securing this perimeter here. Has been stunned in that corner. He has got Tac Max on as well, though. Has been taken down. Cappy with two. And this is going to be so, so close. And it's looking like it is going to go towards Tech. That's 20 seconds left on that clock. Yeah, and they need to take control. Farico can't win it now, and that is going to go 
all the way to Tech Sweden who are going to take away the series 3-1. Surprise defeat. Yeah, Dragons expected to probably top this group. Tech Sweden out of absolutely nowhere with a 3-1 win. Fariko taking the first map, then Tech Sweden three maps in a row. Fully deserved. Yes, definitely. That was very well played from uh, the Tech lineup there. I'd definitely say standout player for myself was Mart. Oh, definitely. Definitely the MVP of that series. Yeah, definitely. As he, of course, went 13-3, uh, to three, or was it two on the search and destroy? I mean, the Sui there just filling out that final kill cam, taking down Luke in the back, making sure they uh, topped that. But look again. The Sui, 36-29, 35 kills. In fact, all hitting over the 30 kills mark there for Tech Sweden. Oswe with this over 6,000 points as well as Cappy. Mart's not having the best game of his team in that last map. Doesn't really but, matter you know, as he, he did, what, did what needed to be done. All of them getting around that 5,000 point mark. And Tech Sweden having a great start to this tournament. This is, of course, pool play. The uh, double elimination bracket will start tomorrow. We're just going to go for a very quick break and while the next set of games get set up. So please don't go anywhere, guys. Of course, we will be tweeting out when our next game goes live.